love card tricks, but there's one problem with card tricks, and that is card tricks seem to us to be intrinsically wimpy. And we get a card trick that uh, changes that up a little bit. It starts like every other card trick with a card uh, being selected. And how about uh, you, uh, woman, three rows back in the red. Now, Teller's gonna riffle down the deck. And while he's riffling, you just yell, yo, or stop, or whatever people say in England. So just <laughs> gonna riffle right down the deck. Just yell it out. Stop. Okay, now that's the card you selected. Would you all look at it? And now Teller will lose that card, <laughs> lose that card in the deck. <laughs> Nicely done. Now I have here, <laughs> I have here uh, two silver dollars, American silver dollars, not worth very much but they're still totally opaque. I'm gonna put this, nice move, man. I'm gonna put this uh, silver dollars right on the adhesive tape there, man. Your elbow is out like a fun student. <laughs> it's a good thing you aren't. Uh, yeah, we'll let it out cool whenever you want to. But it's, uh, <laughs> wish I were sitting there when you did that. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, I think everybody saw it. I think everybody saw it. You know, you know, what? Excuse me, ma'am. Pick the card. Do you think the card you selected now is lost in the deck? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, ma'am, what I'm wearing right now is a, it's, it, it's a costume. It's wardrobe, okay? So I got nothing in the pockets except stuff to make the tricks work. But backstage in my dressing room, I'm sure I have, uh, in, my, in my street clothes, I have at least 100 bucks in, 100 pounds in cash. Would you be willing right now to bet me 100 pounds of your own money that Teller has no idea where that card is in the deck? No. Beg pardon? No. <laughs> in other words, ma'am, this isn't gonna surprise you very much, is it? So the instant that Teller did that horrendous move, you knew the card wasn't lost in the deck, right? And yet when I looked you in the eye and asked you human being to human being, is the card lost in the deck? You responded, yes. <laughs> and it really wasn't until hard cold cash entered the picture that you backed down at all, is that right? Now, a lot of people wonder why magic works. And the answer, sitting right there wearing a red tie. <laughs> now, I want to stick up for a little bit, okay? This is not a moral issue. I feel certain that if Teller had been, you know, chainsawing a puppy, you would have at least raised your hand and maybe cleared your throat, right? <laughs> It's just a card trick you don't care at all. So I'm gonna take that card you selected, now I'll cut it into the deck, then I'll give the cards a shuffle, and now that card is lost in the deck, right? Of course not! Use your hand! <laughs> no matter how nice and sincere I pretend to be to you, and how mean I pretend to be to this, <laughs> pretend to be to this man here, my first allegiance in the world is to my partner, and if he wants the card on top, that card stays on top. You can do this whole thing a, uh, again, smooth, huh? Do this whole thing again. I'm just gonna riffle down the deck, and once again, you just say stop. Stop. Okay, right there near the middle. That's the card we're gonna use. Now that's the card we should really remember. Forget about that other one. Now I'll do another false cut and a false <laughs> shuffle, and the card is ostensibly lost in the deck, right? And now I'm just going to, uh, I'm going to take the, uh, the, the, uh, the coins here. I put one on his upstage eye and one on his downstage eye and one more right across the middle to stick it to his greasy little head. There we go. <laughs> now, uh, ma'am, do you know about uh, shuffling deck of cards and everything? Just take the card, find the card that was selected, look through it, and then just lose it in the deck. Just look through. Shuffle it, make sure it's lost in the deck. Would you please, ma'am? Just shuffle it right in there, make sure it's lost there. <laughs> Excuse me, ma'am. Yo, ma'am, ma'am. Yeah. Yo. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> let, me, 
let me explain something to you, man. Your only sin, if it could be called a sin, is you're a very nice, polite woman. So I'm talking to you, see what you're doing? You're looking me right in the eyes. And that's the way you should always deal with another human being. But when you're dealing with a scumball like me, <laughs> keep your eyes on my hands. All I did was while you're looking in my eyes, I just levered the top card off, pushed it to my palm, then I handed you the deck with the same hand. <laughs> now you were checking out this hand. And that's why only a putz would palm with this hand. I hand you the deck with the same hand. Take it. Now watch this, watch this. I bring this hand out and show you that hand empty because this hand looks like the seal boy. I can park a Buick behind that hand, okay? So I'm just gonna actually give you these, this card right there, the one that was selected. And now really do, really do lose it in the deck. Shuffle it right in there, shuffle it. <laughs> It's lost in the day. Shut up. Cool. Here's your cards, Mr. Teller. <laughs> Where'd they go? Where'd they go? <laughs> oh, you want them? You want them? <laughs> A blindfold. Opaque silver dollars, adhesive tape, teller cannot see at all. <laughs> right down here you're peeking, right? Right down by your nose, you can see. Hello, hello. <laughs> Just move these around. <laughs> okay, way not cool, man. Way not cool. <laughs> Wait until I get it all set up. Now you go, now you go, now you're set. Go, pick it up, pick it up. And is that your card? The Queen of Hearts, is that your card? <laughs> it really is it? No, seriously, is it a card? <laughs> <laughs> it really isn't. <laughs> Are you even going to remember your car? Ah! 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 And is that your car? The six of cards? Put the card right there, the six of cards. There it is right there, the six of cards right there. Well, I'm just going to say uh, one thing, ma'am. Uh, I had to be fairly rude to you, and I had to be kind of, um, kind of embarrass you a little bit and see the card on my forehead and stuff. And I have to do that to get the audience uh, on your side and against me, so they're not only uh, accept the knife going through my hand, but indeed have them praying for it. And since you were, um, <laughs> since you were such a good sport and so pleasant, you can call me a sentimental old fool, but I'd like you to have this. <laughs> say no hands or handkerchiefs were harmed in the making of this show. Join us again next time on Fool Us for more of the same. Thanks for watching. Good night, everybody.